Flora on another Friday with Flora, and I feel like I always do it like this, but I am sorry for not posting in a while, and this time it's actually for like a good reason. It's because I lost my camera, so I literally couldn't have made a video unless it was an Animal Jam video, and those aren't the best quality. I know, I know that my normal videos aren't the best quality, but the AG videos are very like blurry and the sound doesn't come in right. So I am looking for a better screen recorder, and if you guys have any um, ideas, then that would be great if you guys could just tell me in the comments. So yeah, we are going to get right in the video. Okay, so these are all going to be ponytails, because every day in middle school you have gym or PE. And this is just kind of a fun way to be a little bit more interesting than just the normal ponytail. So for the first ponytail um, that we're going to do, we're just going to do a normal ponytail and then kind of do something to the actual hair that's going down. Okay, so I just have my regular ponytail. It's about middle ponytail. That's all it is to it, just a simple ponytail. And then what we're going to do is take a small section from the top, braid it, and then we are going to do a bubble ponytail. Okay, so now I'm done, and I'm just going to take out the end of the braid. And basically the reason I did a braid was just that it's something um, a little bit different from the normal bubble ponytail. I, I really like the bubble ponytail. Um, I think that it's really neat and fun, so I do that a lot. And I think the braid just adds a little bit more pop to it, as you can kind of see, hopefully. So that is the first hairstyle, which is the bubble ponytail with the braid. Okay, so the second one is um, is just a simple twist in the ponytail. So you're just going to tie it at the very end and then twist it. And that's literally all you have to do. So you take your hair and you stick your fingers up the middle. And then you just grab the remaining hair and then you just twist it. It's just something a little bit cool and different, and I think that it looks pretty cool. My third hairstyle is one that I, I didn't make up, but I think that it's really cool for those of you who, hasn't, who haven't seen it. So what I do is you have a regular ponytail again, and you split your hair into the bottom and top, and then you take a little rubber band, and just like a bubble ponytail, you kind of put it a little ways up above. And then you just tie it, and then you stick your fingers through down, and then grab the hair that is under. So you just have to try and grab the hair, and then you pull it through, and then you just tighten it, and then you're just going to keep doing that all the way down. And then you're just going to take another rubber band and tie the front and the back together. And then that is our hairstyle. I like this one as well because it keeps all your hair in very secure. And it just looks really cool. And usually people don't even notice when they look at the back. And then they look at the front and they're like, what? If you want, you can also look at better tutorials that are out there. Okay, so the fourth hairstyle that I'm going to show you is called the chain braid, which is basically, you take your ponytail into two parts, you twist this one, you twist this one, and then you twist the twists together. To do a good twist, you have to twist both sides in the same direction, and then put them over each other in the opposite direction. So I'm twisting one way, and then going over the other. And then the other side. Okay, so now I have my two, and I twist them both that way, so I'm gonna twist them that way, so. And then once they're both twisted together, I just have to tie them. Okay, and then that's it. And you can just see it kind of resembles a chain in how it looks. And that is it for the chain braid.
Okay, so now the final braid, the fifth braid, um, is basically just going to be a braid and then like into the ponytail. First, we're just going to section off whatever part we're going to braid. So I'm going to braid um, a little bit down my forehead, like in between my eyebrow and my part. Just kind of have the braid going back. You have to know where your braid is, where your ponytail is going to be beforehand so that your braid will be going in the right direction. Okay. So first we're going to get all the hair out of the way. As you can see I secured it and just tried to make it easier to not pick up when I'm trying to do the braid. Which yes it looks really weird right now but hopefully it'll look fine in a second. Okay so you're going to let down the hair that you're going to braid. Looks totally normal. And then you're just going to braid it and that's pretty much all you have to do. Um, but the thing you have to make, keep in mind is to braid up this section so that it will go into your ponytail and not have all these weird bumps and stuff. So I always look at the hair and get... Then you just need to take out your other thing on the bob. And you're just going to add in the braid. And the braid is all nice and secure. And that's all there is to it. So you just have to try. And I like to take out the braid at the end. And that is it. Okay guys, that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. Tell me in the comments what your favorite thing was that you ate. And I also have a surprise for you guys that I will be showing you guys next Friday and it is a huge deal. Be looking forward to next Friday. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving and I will see you next week. Hopefully. Bye!